Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry appeared to put their ongoing privacy court case and feud with ex-best friend Jessica Mulroney behind them as they stepped out for an appointment in Beverly Hills Friday. The former royals protecting themselves from both the sun and coronavirus as they donned face masks and hats while collecting their car from a valet in their new neighborhood Friday afternoon. The couple were spotted exiting a building and getting into a gas guzzling Cadillac SUV that has been dubbed in online reviews as far from environmentally friendly as you can get, mocking an unusual choice for the staunchly eco-conscious duo. Megan, who led the way to their waiting car, dressed for the scorching California weather, with temperatures reaching 84 Fahrenheit and humidity topping 67% yesterday. She wore a loose cream linen dress with matching cream and black Sam Edelman ballet flats, and accessorized her outfit with a large straw hat and dark sunglasses. A dark cross, body bag hung across her petite frame while she clutched a clear purse in her hands. An expensive, looking gold watch, which she hasn't been spotted in before, decorated her wrist. Harry opted for a more casual look of dark blue jeans, a grey polo shirt, navy trainers and a cap. The couple exited the building flanked by their security team, who also wore face masks, before one of them opened the car door for Meghan. Harry walked behind his wife and made his way to the other side of the black SUV before getting in. The couple, who appeared to have left son Archie at home, seemed to be taking no chances with coronavirus as cases and deaths from the virus soar across California. Face masks are now mandatory for all Californian residents in public places and Meghan and Harry were clearly sticking to the rules. Many people uh, were not necessarily being as responsible as they otherwise, uh, well, as we would like them to be as it relates to practicing physical distancing, social distancing, uh, people that weren't wearing their face masks. However, their choice of car during the outing may raise some questions, as the luxury Cadillac Escalade normally comes with a gas guzzling six litre engine. Online reviews describe the five door motor as being as far from environmentally friendly as you can guess. This suggests yet another sustainability gaffe for the couple, who have previously been slammed for pitching about saving the planet and then flying around the world by private jet. Harry last year said, We are the one species on this planet that seems to think that this place belongs to us, and only us, before they took four trips in 11 days on private jets that summer. The rare ocean comes amid a turbulent few weeks of the Sussexes who have been laying low and have only been spotted out a handful of times since their move to Los Angeles. Megan's privacy and copyright case against the Mail on Sunday rumbled on this week, and, on Thursday, Megan issued an application for a High Court injunction to stop anyone from naming her five female friends who briefed People magazine about her and a letter she sent to her estranged father Thomas. The five women were named as the sources of a People magazine article in 2019 in legal papers submitted by Meghan to the court last week, although their identities were not made public. The article lies at the heart of the case because it was the first time the existence of a letter the Duchess had written to her father Thomas was revealed. The Mail on Sunday claims that revelation and the misleading impression it gave of the letter gave Thomas the right to publish more of the handwritten note in the Mail on Sunday to defend himself after their relationship became hopelessly estranged in the wake of Meghan's marriage to Harry in May 2018. But Meghan insists that she had no idea any of her friends had spoken to People magazine until after the fact. All five of the women now face the prospect of being hauled to the High Court in London next year to testify in the explosive privacy trial. They will be asked to confirm on oath that the Duchess had no prior knowledge that they were going to speak to People. The legal battle comes at the same time Meghan has reportedly cut ties with best friend Jessica Mulroney after Mulroney became embroiled in a social media row with black influencer Sasha Exeter last month. Exeter claimed Mulroney had sent her a string of abusive messages and threatened to ruin her career after taking effect over one of Exeter's posts in which she called on people with large social media followings to speak out about Black Lives Matter. The blogger also said Mulroney was guilty of using her white privilege and wealth to try and intimidate her. The spat led to the cancellation of Mulroney's wedding binned reality TV show I Do Redo, as well as the loss of her Good Morning America fashion slot. 
Megan hasn't spoken to Mulroney since the row was made public, and is also said to have failed to get in touch with her goddaughter Ivy on her birthday last month. Mulroney has been desperately reaching out to Megan in a bid to patch up their friendship, but to no avail. An insider said, Jessica has been calling Megan non stop and also calling up mutual friends to try and patch up their friendship. She's devastated Megan has turned her back on her at a time when she needs her most. But their friends have told her not to expect to hear back from Megan, because when she cuts someone off, she's done for good, just like with her family. Megan and Harry have been holing up in Tyler Perry's Los Angeles mansion since they fled to the US from Canada before the borders to slow the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Another analysis. Meghan Markle is not trying to attack the royal family with her recent claims. Though Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry have not spoken openly about their royal exit in recent months, fans are getting a glimpse at the Duchess' state of mind during her time in the firm. Meghan had been previously open about her struggles in the media and the lies that were spewed about her. However, in released documents from her privacy claim against Mail on Sunday, Associated Newspapers Limited, it seems that the Duchess also had an issue with the royal family. While the Duchess seemed to get along with royal family members, Prince Charles, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, apparently she did not feel as welcomed or embraced by others. Meghan Markle was angry that she was never allowed to defend herself. Meghan was extremely frustrated by the untrue stories about how that spiralled out of control in the media, especially since she was expected to adhere to the royal's stiff upper lip policy. Meghan Markle felt like the royal family did nothing to protect her for some time. Royal fans have been furious as the royal family for refusing to come to Meghan's aid. An insider told Kipple, The palace teams are faced with the difficulty that when things go wrong, particularly on private life matters, Quite often, any action taken with the media makes it worse. It's not that the royal household doesn't want to help, or that they don't want to make it worse by giving a gossipy story more oxygen. However, it may be past time for the royals to reconsider their stiff upper lip policy. Journalist Yasmin Alibi, Brown told Vanity Fair. If the Queen had once said, in her way, hey, guys, this is my grandson and his wife, we just got married back off and let them build a life for themselves, the hounds would have backed off. But she never did. And she still hasn't. I find that unforgivable, actually, since she has the power. They absolutely worship her in this country. Meghan Markle is not trying to attack the royal family. Though she is adamant about telling her side of the story in her lawsuit, the Duchess is not trying to attack the royal family or sour their relationship with Prince Harry. An insider told Pickle, some people are making these documents about individuals. It is about the institution of the whole and its practices. This case centers on a private and hand written letter from a daughter to her father that was published by the Mail on Sunday. This gross violation of any person's right to privacy is obvious and unlawful. Please support Growing LMP Royal Channel by subscribe channel. Like and share videos are. Your support is the motivation for our to produce better videos. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.